Check this video out if you're interested in getting some uh, good news about me. Check it out. This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas, in my backyard, and uh, mosquitoes are biting me. Quite a few. Hopefully, uh, I don't get any of that West Nile uh, virus. I have some very good news. My wife has given me the okay, the okay to buy a travel trailer. I've been wanting to buy a travel trailer for the last three years, and finally she said, go for it, go for it, buy one. I said, okay, I'll buy one. <laughs> So I'm going to buy a travel trailer. I'm not in a tremendous hurry. Uh, why would my wife change her mind? Well, she, we came into some money. We come into money, you know, from different projects we do and different efforts we, uh, you know, from writing projects to photography projects to art projects to, you know, other types of projects. And we came into a significant amount of money. So I said, why don't you put some of it down for this uh, travel trailer? Like so she said, let's put $10,000 down on a travel trailer. I said, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. So, uh, of course, I'm looking at something at about eighteen dollars to $25,000 retail. Uh, typically, I mean, I mean, after discounts of retail, the retail price would be anywhere between twenty-eight dollars and thirty-five. dollars And after your 30% discount, which you should get all the time, uh, unless you're buying an Airstream, and of course Airstreams are a snotty product, <laughs> snooty product, and they don't give any discounts because that's the market, you know. I would never buy an Airstream, by the way. There is no reason to ever buy an Airstream unless you're pretentious. And uh, I do not like Airstreams, you know. Unless you're going to go to a manicured place and park it. And I never go anywhere that's manicured. There's always limbs scratching. And just imagine if you had an Airstream. There's a limbs scratching your airstream. Ain't going to look, you know, very pretty anymore. There's a, a line from a Raging Bull where Jake LaMotta, you know, beats up this uh, other boxer that his wife had a crush on and said, ain't no, you ain't pretty no more. And that's what's going to happen to that airstream once it gets scraped. It's not going to be as pretty anymore. And that's the number one reason why people buy Airstreams, because they're pretty, okay? Storage? Nah. Not much storage on those suckers. I'm... Inside storage, okay, but outside storage is a joke, okay? So, I'm in the market for a travel trailer, and uh, I'm going to be looking around for the next few months and deciding which one I'm going to narrow down to what I like. I have certain ones I really like. I do like the Rockwood products that... I think it's 2509, the one with a bed, and the small one on the sofa. And then there's a 2511S for Brockwood, also I like. There's also some um, Coachman, you know, ultralight products I like, etc., etc., and Keystone products, Jayco products. So I'm going to have to be narrowing down which ones I'm going to buy. It's all a process, okay? So it's great news that I'm going to be able to buy a travel trailer. I haven't had a recreational vehicle for quite a while. I've been sleeping in the back of my uh, truck under my camper shelf for quite a while. And uh, I used to have a Class B several years back, but I sold that. Should have never sold it, but I did. And uh, now my truck can tow 7,000 pounds, so I limited myself to something that's, you know, 4,000 to 5,300 pounds dry and not too big, under 25, 26 feet, preferably smaller. So I'm very excited about uh, narrowing down the scope of my uh, trailer, travel trailer, you know, options. So I'm not going to buy the travel trailer right now. This is my thought process first thing you got to do is create the infrastructure for where you're going to park it. Some people park it at some uh, storage lot. I don't want to spend the money for a storage lot. So I contacted my uh, 
HOA and they said yeah you can park your travel trailer in your uh, driveway as long as it's not over uh, 27 feet 27 28 feet around there it was 27 feet and I said yeah that's perfect I'm looking at something under that okay and uh, that's not going to be a problem for me and so I could park it in my driveway so that's number one number two is finding a place to actually park it I can park it in my driveway my driveway is 37 and a half feet but you know my one space is devoted to my wife and then it goes into the garage the other area is devoted to me and it goes and my truck parks in the garage because we get a lot of hail here you don't want to leave anything out you know just parked without any protection so I could park that trail trailer behind my car but then it make it difficult for me to get out that's an issue that's a big big issue so maybe the lawn surface next to it uh, my driveway I can just put some pavers there and it's plenty long and I could park my travel trailer there. that's a consideration remove the lawn put some pavers call it good maybe you put some concrete there I don't know maybe put those little pavers that have holes for the grass to grow through my wife talked about she goes oh I want to put some uh, mint plants there and I go okay whatever you're whatever <laughs> time or something it was you know, aromatics uh, yeah, yeah. so but then also I was thinking about just cutting a hole in my fence and just parking it in my the enclosed area I'll show you a picture right now of that enclosed area so you can see how it looks like okay so that's the enclosed area and um, I'd have to tear down that fence put in a gate either swing out or slide on rollers and then I have to trim some limbs because you know the travel trailer is going to be about ten and a half feet tall or something around there so I have to make sure that the air conditioner is not <laughs> smashed or lopped off okay that would be a terrible experience okay so these are things I have to prepare for uh, before I purchase it okay so some of you say just get in just park it there and shut up no I'm not that kind of guy okay I like to have everything set up also I have to talk to my bank uh, about three years ago I talked to my bank two and a half years ago about a RV loan they were gonna offer me 1.9 percent which is pretty good for an RV loan at that time most uh, RV dealerships were offering six seven percent they still are offering six seven eight percent but um, maybe the uh, loan rates have gone up maybe two to three percent now for a loan from my credit union I'm gonna talk to my credit union get the <clears throat> okay to find out how much this unit is gonna cost me plus TTNL that's all TTNL I'm not gonna buy no extended warranties I'm not gonna have them spray paint the exterior with some uh, stuff that protects it against whatever or the furniture with Scotch Guard, and they're gonna charge me a thousand bucks for that. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Ooh, nice mosquito. I got mosquitoes everywhere in here. They're all trying to chew on me. So, that's where I'm at. Before the mosquitoes eat me up, I'm gonna be leaving and going back inside. I have to leave you folks, okay? Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, or questions, you know, below the description. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and share. From Fort Worth, Texas, Jesus Manuel Menegarza, trying his best to be pragmatic, linear, and uh, take my time in regards to buying a, a travel trailer. Buying the right one that'll last me for the next five years or so. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.